extremely good. He used to put you in all sorts of trouble and and you'd make the mistake and go back to your seat while he won the frame with one visit. Well, already he's over a minute he's been thinking about this shot, so obviously it's not straightforward. What he was doing, he was just one. walking on the table, planning on how he was going to progress in this break. And he was going to go about you know, getting the black back in its spot, just surveying the situation. Yeah, he'd worked it out, and I think that's what he was thinking about in the red, in the circle there. He was planning three or four shots ahead, and that's the one Six. that he wanted to get himself onto, and he is nicely on that. Seven. cannon on the red it's in between the black spot and the pink then it'll leave the red to right corner <coughs> 14 well as I said before first mistake in that exchange could be costly and well I'd be very surprised if Ron O'Sullivan didn't win the frame from this visit. Fifteen. In this match, the general pattern will be whoever gets in first in a situ like, situation like this will win the frame. Players are so good and amongst the pink and black. Twenty-two. Thirty. Thirty one. He's worked these out very nicely indeed. All delicate little stun and screw shots. Yeah, as was the case with Ding when he made his one visit wins Forty in the first six. three frames is just making this look ridiculously easy. Forty seven. Well, you're looking at a player here, probably the greatest break builder the game's ever seen. He's made 872 centuries. And Stephen, you held that record. Was it 775 you made? Yeah, and I think there's, there's no doubt of just how long Roddy wants to play, but he's going to make a 1,000. 54. It's just, as I say, he wants to keep playing. It's amazing, it's not that many years ago, everyone was saying, oh, this is a young player's game. In the early 20s, they're peaking. 60. But uh, when you look at this man, who's 42, and John Higgins, in his early 40s, Stuart Bingham, a winner. So there's plenty of the 40 pluses starting to have a lot of success in the game. Um, Go way back to the great Ray Reardon and John Spencer. They were at their peak 68. in their early mid 40s. Of course, the game has moved on. 69. In those days, people used to have jobs as well as playing snooker. Seventy-six. I can make this entry. 
If it takes these three open reds with three blacks. This would be Ronnie's fifth century of the tournament so far. 84. And I believe the record, Dennis, for a quarterfinals, eight centuries 85. between two players. So I think these two will go close. Ninety-one. Well, he's taken a pink, so now he's going to need one of the awkward reds, leaving the angle on the black. <coughs> so he needs the cannon here. Bring one out if he's going to make the century. And now he will hit these as hard as he can, and hopefully fluke a red. No fluke. Oh, it's over 99. No century. <laughs> but that 